What's up guys, Level Up here, and today we're going to be going through how to make an opening cutscene. This is a beginner tutorial, so I'll just show you how to get things going in your game. So first what we're going to need to do is go over and create a new map. We're going to title it Open Scene. Then what we want to do is go over to our Actors class over here in the database, and where it's Harold, you want to make sure this character image is empty. Once all that's done, right click on your open scene map and go quick event creation, sorry, uh, starting position, player. Then what you want to do is create an event on that scene. So what you'll do is change its trigger to auto run and then we'll add some scrolling text. So for this, we'll just, we'll just type hello world and that's it. Alright, so also you're going to need a map called Forest Park or something like that. Um, yeah, I made one earlier, so just make a separate map. Go back into the event, and after it says Hello World, sorry, before it says Hello World, uh, you want it to fade out. And we do this so we can change the character animation. So you fade out the screen, then you want to... Where is it? Change images. Uh, there are change actor images, and then you want to give Harold a sprite set. Then you transfer the player, you move him over to the forest path up here, and right here there's a few different options, but you want to mainly focus on uh, direction. Uh, retain just means it w the character will face the last direction it was facing. We want him to face up. And then we just want to fade in the screen again, and we'll play that out and see how that goes. So your new game, you're starting off, the hello world thing will come up. Once that's finished, change the character sprite and he fades in up here. And there we go. Now that should automatically kill your auto run event, but we want to do a bit more. So that's where we go over to the forest path and create a character here. So, we'll make this girl, um, and then we'll create her as auto run, and then we'll just add a few scenes. So, we'll add a bit of text, Harold, are we there yet? This girl over here will say, no, hurry up. Double check where we placed Harold on this map. So we've placed him two tiles below the girl. So what we want to do then is open this girl's event. She'll go to transfer player, not transfer player, sorry, go to set movement route. And in movement route, you want to click through on. What this means is that she can walk through objects. Then you'll get her to move down twice. Also you want this event selected over in the top left hand corner, not player. So select this event, through on, move down twice, transparent on. And after that you're going to create a new, go over to the first page, control self switch A, and then create a new event page. If self switch A is on, do nothing. So now I'll just play that again. So you've got your scrolling text, which can consist of whatever you want. You can have a picture in the background if you want as well. After the scrolling text goes through, this scene happens, and then we've got the two characters down here. Are we there yet? No, hurry up. And she walks into him, and now you've got movement of the player. And that is how you create just a basic opening cutscene in RPG Maker MV. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, I've got some other tutorials and some tips and tricks on my channel, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and just let me know if there's any troubles you're having with the RPG Maker engine, and I'll be sure to make a video to help you out. Alright, thanks guys!